First off, I want to say wish a speedy recovery to Kyle Busch. Broken right leg and broken left foot from the wreck in the Xfinity Series race at Daytona. But what I want to talk about, and I've talked about this before, is risk versus reward running in what's now the Xfinity Series or the Camping World Truck Series for Cup drivers. And toward the end of 2013, I questioned the fact Matt Kenseth was involved in a championship battle and with Jimmy Johnson, which Jimmy won, and con continuing to run, as we knew it then, nationwide races. I frankly think the risk far outweighs the reward. Yes, the people that sell tickets at the tracks like to have the cup drivers in the Xfinity or the truck races. I understand that. but And I understand you can be at the track. Let's say you're camping at the track, like we do at Kentucky. Well, the Xfinity race is coming up. Say you're a Brad Keselowski fan, which I'm not. I'm not a Kyle Busch fan either way, but I don't want to see uh, anybody get hurt. Well, the first thing you're going to check, you're going to get on your mobile device or find the lineup if you're outside the track on Friday and have not bought tickets for this Friday race. Is Brad in the race? Is your driver in the race? If the answer is no, chances are, you may not go to the race. You may stay at the campsite. I just... I understand that, the people selling tickets, but I'm, I'm going to call this risk versus reward 18, and because of Kyle Bush's number. I might call it risk versus reward 1854 or something like that. He's driving a 54 car. Vicious, vicious hit on that inside wall. Frankly, there should have been safer barriers there. Sometimes misidentified as soft walls. They're not soft, but it does. It's steel and foam energy resorbent, I believe is the, what is the acronym for. I'm not 100% sure on that, but um, I just don't see the cup drivers running the nationwide. I mean, I got nervous, and I already knew I did not, I had to leave. I watched it on DVR, the Kyle Bush. I had to go to work. I watched it on DVR. And I said I had not looked to won the race, did not know anything. Then I checked Facebook and or no, I checked J Ski and it said eighteen craft and driver change. I thought Kyle Bush is hurt and then I looked it up. He was obviously trying to get out of the car. The car appeared to briefly be on fire, which was extinguished quickly. The safety crew did a good job getting there. And frankly, Daytona if you look back to some YouTube videos in 1984, Ricky Rudd's crash in the area off turn four, um, Darrell Waltrip had a crash in the early 80s, 83, yeah, it was 83, it was the Pepsi Challenger car. Harry Gant had one there in the 70s that was nasty, hitting that inside wall. And one thing they did to help that, cars pick up speed on grass, was paved the area known as Calamity Corner, turn four. That seemed to have helped, plus they've got the safer barriers. Daytona has said they will put safer barriers where Kyle Busch crashed. They are badly needed. Also, I think they should think about paving area. Again, I want to wish a speedy recovery to Kyle Busch. I'm not a fan, but I'm a true race fan, and I don't like to see anybody get hurt in a race car. But my point is, his season is pretty much done. No chance for the championship. Missed the Daytona 500. Is it really worth it to run those races? That's my question. I frankly say no. Now, on a side note, I would like to know, maybe from the telemetry if it's available, was the throttle stuck or something? Because the car, even more so than usual from grass, picked up speed. Now, this has been strictly based on my opinion. I understand that. But I just don't think it's worth running an Xfinity. I almost called it nationwide, but I didn't. Serious race. But on the day before the biggest race of the year. I, frankly, I'm a Dale Jr. fan and I wish he'd stay out of it. Wish he'd stay out of nationwide altogether. Of course, the sponsors, they want the drivers in there and that don't help. I'm calling on the sponsors to realize, hey, you're going to get your driver hurt on the eve of the biggest race and have to miss the biggest race and run their season. That's just not the way to do it.